Good afternoon. I'm Tom Kay, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to save the environment. All the products that you need to buy, everything that's practical. The ecology movement is now. I've been involved in it for 20 years, and let me bring you up to speed on the hottest products and the consciousness that you need to know. Uh, to affect environments, to beneficially produce an ideal world in self to affect environments to beneficially produce an ideal world in self. I've been involved in alternative energy for about 20 years now. I got started when I was 16 and I was a solar energy consultant to Exxon. I held a basic patent on a solar collector. I started a, a solar energy store back in 78. This is a solar energy store. I sold all the practical solar energy products. And now I'm working on the ecology store, which is all the environmentally aware products. Just to add some credibility and tell you who I am before I educate you on everything you need to know, we'll start off here with first, this is a letter from Exxon showing I was a solar energy consultant. I wrote an overview of the solar thermal industry. Here's uh, the solar store, it sold all the practical solar energy products. That's for solar domestic hot water heating, pool heating, heating and cooling homes. And recently I've been involved in solar tax legislation, the idea of creating a uh, trust fund where you transfer from polluting energy sources to non-polluting energy sources. And I have two letters from the White House here. Here's one and here's another one. So I'm currently involved with uh, Solar Utilities Network or the Ecology Store for environmentally aware stuff and here's a copy of the legislation. What I'd like to do is I'd like to present all the information that I've gathered for you, the homeowner or the interested investor, to go out and start their own ecology store, purchase their own ecology-minded products directly from the manufacturer. Now I'll start taking down the highway of ecology so you can get an idea of what's happening. First of all, everyone wants to know the greenhouse effect, how can we save the environment, what's non-polluting, non-toxic, non-toxic self. There's been a lot of magazines out there, of which I'll just show you a few of them. The first one here is called E, the Ecology Magazine, has environmentally aware products. I'm sure you'd be interested in that one. Another copy of E. Then you have a magazine called In Business. This is for the entrepreneur in the solar or in the alternative energy, the green movement, the environmental movement. And uh, we're even listed in this one as the ecology uh, store, and this is the current issue. And here's something that all mothers should get for their kids. Here's two issues. It's called P3 Magazine. It's a children's environmental magazine. This is real cool. It has stuff that children can understand. It has even a comic series in here. Uh, let see, doing ecology stuff. Everyone would be interested in getting the P3 stuff for children. That's the ecology magazine for children. Brand new, cutting edge. Here's Solar Today. Features all the practical solar energy uh, products that you can purchase. It's a good deal. Here's recycling. This is more geared for people that want to make money in the recycling business. Everyone knows that you get money for cans and glass. Well, there's a lot more uh, paper. There's a lot of things that can be recycled. And it's you can judge how evolved a society is by how much of the garbage they recycle. So recycling is a definitely a cutting edge thing. Here's a Northern Sun. This is specialist uh, in solar energy and electric cars, of which I'll get into later with electric cars. Buzzworm, another major magazine. It uh, explains the ecology movement. At the end of the, sh uh, if you purchase this home video, you have all the information of how to contact uh, all these things in Garbage Magazine. So these are the actual magazines that you can get on the newsstand to order. The next bunch of magazines that I'll hip you to so you can know, these are ecology-minded groups such as World Watch, which is one, and this one's John Denver one. And then from the government, you have all sorts of literature from the government, which is essential for your own education, and it's free literature, which is real good. And here's one for solar electric houses today. It has a whole pyramid of different electrical houses that are practical for you to purchase and buy. And it's really cool to uh, see what, what's practical and what's not practical. All new homes should incorporate passive solar systems and active solar systems for heating and cooling. Uh, I'll get into that later with uh, earth source heat pumps. Here's uh, the EPA journal with windmills on the cover, another free governmental 
magazine. Here's energy for today. Passive solar buildings. This is the Solar Industries Journal. Garbage news and wind, wind energy. Usable electrical energy from the sun. Solar thermal. Solar voltaics. More solar voltaics. Solar voltaics. There also are a whole bunch of catalogs out there that feature different products. We'll tell you we, we'll tell you about all of them, but here's just a few. One's called Save Energy. One's classic seventh generation. One's Jade Mountain. Real goods. Alternative energies. Of course, there's a whole bunch of books out there that you can purchase just about anywhere put out there. Now my main expertise is actual products that you can buy today that are environmentally sound and environmentally aware. So I'm going to run through these products here and if you buy the videotape, at the end of the videotape you'll be able to uh, contact these companies directly. There's a great business opportunity for any young entrepreneur that wants to get involved in the green movement. And these products that I'm going to, that spent years of working on gathering, I'm going to educate you with right now. The first one, which seems sort of silly, but it's very important, is a paper bag. Now, what's so special about this paper bag? Well, paper bags are biodegradable. They're not like plastic bags where you could... Uh, have them in the environment for 500 years before they decompose. These are paper bags that are also wet strength, so you can put your regular garbage in there. Paper bags are very important. Now, there's a controversy out there about something that they put cornstarch corn into plastic. And when they put this cornstarch into the plastic, they call it biodegradable because rather than taking seven years for the plastic bags to decompose, when the cornstarch is in there, it decomposes easier. But what that really means is you're still dealing with plastic, that biodegradable plastic that decomposes into very small chips. So some people are for it, some people are against it. I'll go right down the line and say I think it's better than the existing plastic bags, but for the environment, I'd rather prefer paper bags. But if you're going to use plastic bags, the plastic bags to use in anything is this plastic bag called Good Sense. They're the first company out there today that's using cornstarch to put your leaves in or your garbage in, and they biodegrade much faster, so it is ecologically aware. Now, we're talking about bags. The most common type of bags that everyone should know about when you go shopping and to be ecologically aware, and it's a big trend, and I know of about 20 different companies that are manufacturing them, are canvas shopping bags. It's simple, but any ecology-minded person should definitely get canvas shopping bags. And they come in all different types and sizes, different models. They come in, they come in string bags. And the thing that's exciting about these bags is they're real simple, but they're non-polluting. In other words, rather than every time you go to the, the garbage, Every time you go to uh, the shopping market, you bring your own bag along. You become ecology aware. You, you find it that you can't go out without taking your canvas bags. And the canvas bags are, are exciting in the degree that they have all different pretty designs in it, and you can almost paint your own design on it. So it's important that everybody goes out and buys their canvas bags and is ecology aware, even in that respect. Now here's a product that is very close to my heart. What it is is, it's called a dovetails. If you get that, it's dovetails. It is the most important baby product ever made. The reason why it's the first company in the world that has the 100% biodegradable baby diaper. It's made out of paper. And the woman who invented it, invented it out of her own need because she couldn't find anywhere else to find a biodegradable baby diaper. What this means is you sh when you're in home, you should use cloth diapers and then dispose of them, you know, linen laundry service or diaper service or anyway. But when you go out and you want to have a disposable baby diaper, you use the dovetails, which is the world's first biodegradable paper diaper. There are other biodegradable baby diapers that are made out of cornstarch. Then you're into that whole cornstarch 
plastic again. It de decomposes and it's much better than the other bio de the other baby diapers that are disposable. They're going, but they're not exactly ecologically aware. So I would say, don't buy the cornstarch biodegradable baby diapers. Buy the dovetails, and this is the only one in the world that makes it right now. What it is is it's a you have the paper diaper that you put the, the baby, you know, onto the baby, and then you put uh, uh, with a, a liner around the kid. So he has the plastic on top that, and the, and the dovetail underneath. It's, it's very important, and believe me, if you have a baby, it's your ecological responsibility for the baby and yourself to get the dovetail baby diaper. There's one other baby diaper out that's just as ecology aware as the dovetails in its own set. It's called Bumpkins, and I have an actual sample of it here. And Bumpkins is fabulous, because what Bumpkins is, it's a baby diaper, like a normal baby diaper, but what you do is you have the baby diaper, you put the baby diaper here, and the baby uses the diaper, and when he, and inside the baby diaper you have this cotton liner that goes in the baby diaper. So what happens is you take the cotton liner, the baby does his poo-poo, the cotton liner goes into the toilet, you wash it out, and you flush it down the toilet, and you wash this. This is the first ecology-aware baby diaper that you can get, and they're the only company that makes it right now. This gets thrown away, and this gets in your wash, wash, and you can use it. This is Bumpkins. It's a fabulous project. Fabulous. I hope everyone uh, gets it. They have a baby. Now, there's other baby products that I'm sure people are interested in. If you're into holistic baby massages and oils, and these are made without oils. These are natural vegetable oils. They're much healthier for the skin. So it's important that if you have an ecology-aware child, you have ecology Vaseline and ecology-minded, non-toxic baby products. And that's the thing, that you have a non-toxic world, that we take the toxicities out of ourselves and we get more into a holistic, biodegradable world. And the baby is one of the first places to start because that's for the future generation. Of course, we have little ecology-aware novelty items like a baby bib. I think anyone would be interested in that. Then, of course, there's ecology-aware fun things like buttons and posters and a whole assortment of novelty items that are ecology consciousness, like your t-shirts, etc. And here's one that has to be one of the most popular as they come here. It's called Hug a Planet. And what it is, it's a very simple stuffed, anim stuffed earth. And it te teaches a child about earth consciousness. It's a wonderful novelty item, and we're selling a lot of them. Hug a Planet. And along with the Hug a Planet, we have the inflatable earth and novelty t-shirts, recycling, important for Earth consciousness. And here's, a pro here's something that I believe will become the, uh, the United Nations of Ecology. And it's very simple, and everyone should have one. An Earth flag taken from space. You have children and you want to teach the children about the environment. Well, I showed you the P3 magazine for children. Well, not only that, we have Recycle Source. And inside, this is Ecology Aware Products for Children. And inside here, we have such neat products, T-shirts for children, recycled, made out of recycled plastic. Frisbees, recycled plastic, in other words, the concept of not throwing things away and never using it again, of having a fun toy, recycled frisbee, pens, recycled pens, children's novelty items, children's comic books concerning ecology, songs concerning ecology for children. There's a whole ecology movement out there, and I want you to become part of it even to the degree of classic Dr. Seuss has written an ecology book. And I'll tell you which, where's the Dr. Seuss ecology book and what's it about. There's also ecology uh, board games and ecology uh, recycling games and posters. 
Now concerning children, something that's very important is the toxicity of paints. Everyone heard about the lead poisoning in paints. Well, here's the first non-toxic natural crayons for children to use. It cut, we have crayons, we have finger paints, we have water-based paints of all different types for children to use. As you can see here, we have finger paints. And not only do we say non-toxic paints, which are very important, and non-toxic paints are important for your home too. If you're painting your home, there's ecology-minded earth paints and earth products that you can buy that are non-toxic. Little, little things that you, you don't know about, but hopefully after this video you'll go use and give away as novelties and be aware of. Things like push pins made out of recycled plastic, you know, pins that you'd use in your classroom, right? Or scissors made out of plastic, actual scissors that are recycled plastic, and rulers for children to use in school. A whole assortment of recycled plastic products that can be used every day, especially for children. Here's a product that seems real obvious. What it is is it's a recycle wheel. It gives you, what you do is you figure out what you're using and it tells you what the alternative would be on it. It's very simple to use. It teaches you to be more ecology aware in the products that you're buying. Now the next segment that I'm going to talk about is recycled paper. Recycled paper is real important because if you use recycled paper, you're not cutting down as many trees. You're not wasting water to wash the trees, and you're not using the toxicities of bleaching them white to, take, to get them white, and the water and the toxicities, it's less chemicals that are used. Now, every home in America someday will be using recycled paper products. And now I'm going to just walk you through a few of the recycled paper products to get people. The first one that I'll talk about here is anyone that makes coffee wants a recycled, non-toxic coffee strainer. Very simple, very ecology aware. The thing that's exciting about this is that the toxicity of existing drainers, filters, can cause maybe cancer. These have no toxicities in it and it's recycled paper. Now here's the cablanche. We're talking about consciousness of home, putting ecology awareness in your home every time you go to the bathroom using recycled toilet paper, using recycled maxi pads, recycled napkins. This is paper that is, that is the only ecology sane paper to use and someday they will not even dare think of using any type of paper that isn't recycled. And we have there's about three companies manufacturing this, and all three companies will listen. You'll be able to deal directly with the manufacturer of getting these wholesale if you're interested in carrying a recycled paper line. Now, recycled papers don't just stop with the basics of toilet paper. They go recycled pads that you can write on, recycled notebooks. There's a whole future opportunity. The, large, the, the future entrepreneurs that are out there will be selling recycled papers to every college, to every school, elementary school, high school, to every office building in the country. Recycled paper will become a constant in the new age, which is important because ecology awareness is life awareness. Now here's recycled paper. Now how many legal pads are there out there today that, are being, that you're using right now that isn't made out of recycled paper? 100% recycled paper for pads. Very important. There's recycled notebooks that you can use. There's recycled computer paper for computer printout that you can use. It's important that everyone becomes aware that if they have a choice of buying non-recycled or recycled, they buy recycled. And then in novelty items, if you're interested in that, there's recycled greeting cards made out of 100% recycled paper that you can purchase. Recycling, recycling art papers. Here's get an idea of this. This is the whole catalog of recycled papers of things that you can have. 
There's recycled art supplies for the artist out there that wants to buy big art papers. For children and their non-toxic finger paints, there's recycled paper for them. There's wrapping paper that's made out of recycling for wrapping any presents in. All different types of wrapping paper. There's paints, as I said before, watercolors, recycled stationery. I would think if anyone has a choice of using recycled and non-recycled, they would choose recycled, absolutely. If they knew where to get it, and after you purchase the tape, you'll know where to get it. All sorts of recycled notebooks. After recycled papers, which is very important to understand, especially the toilet paper, and everyone uses toilet paper, there's other home products that are cool, that are environmentally aware, that are non-toxic. And here's a little one that I think is just super great. It's called uh, the roach trap. And what it is, is it's a chemical-free cockroach trap. So if you have cockroaches in your house and you want to get rid of them and you're worried about your child or something, here's the world's first non-toxic cockroach trap that you can use. Now the next section that I'm going to get into is probably a section that everyone in America and everyone in the world should be aware of and the potential is vast. This is the cleansing section. This is the ecologically aware non-toxic biodegradable soaps. Now what is a biodegradable soap? It's a soap that after you use the soap you can pour it in your garden and water your plants with it. The soaps are made out of natural fibers, not oil, not natural substances, vegetable oils and they work as good as any other soap. There are soaps, there are soaps here, you can see there are soaps that you can clean your dishes with, clean your clothes with, clean your toilet with, clean the floor of your house with, clean anything that is, that any soap was used for in the past should be 100% replaced with biodegradable soaps. And there's about five companies here that make biodegradable soaps of all different types. Now the thing that's so exciting about this, you can clean your glass. Glass, what, what's exciting about this is how many window washing companies are out there? How many janitorial companies are out there? What's the potential for a young entrepreneur to say, let's go green, let's go biodegradable, let's go wholesome, let's do biodegradable cleansing soaps. If you have an office, you clean your office, you clean your carpet, you make sure that they use biodegradable soaps. You go out there and the window washers can use biodegradable soaps. Every home, the number one selling of the, the green catalogs is everyone washes their clothes. Any mother that has a child will want to use non-toxic biodegradable soaps. Biodegradable soaps are the future and they work just as well. I know, I've tried them myself. You can't, they, they smell, they smell good and they, they work and you're amazed, you're going, this soap is biodegradable and non-toxic and it, and, and it cleans my toilet and it cleans my clothes. I want to get some. Where is this? I need some. This is, this is the bottom line here. Providing an alternative to safe national sex, it's an alternative. It's the future. And what's happening is more and more companies are going biodegradable. Right now, you can't get a biodegradable soap very easily at your local supermarket, but soon you will be. And if you're interested in it now, you can go ahead and get biodegradable soaps from one of many of these resources. There's about five major resources of biodegradable soaps. All of them work well, and all of them are essentially important for saving our environment. It becomes a sin to wash your clothes in, in detergents that pollute the environment. That, that, that get into the ecosystem and pollute. All evolved people will insist on biodegradable soap, biodegradable soap for all industry that can use it, for all cleansing purposes. Enough of my biodegradable soaps, and I'm really excited about that, and I hope everyone gets really excited and goes out and thinks biodegradable. You can water your plants after you use it. What's more fantastic than that? Now let's jump subjects here for a second and go into something else that's non-toxic and ecological. For those of you who have pets, 
Here's a catalog of pet products that are all ecology aware. Everything from flea, pow flea powders, foods, but the one that excites, and this is stuff that you can, you can spray your dog and then your child can kiss your dog and not have to worry about it dying from the toxicity of the chemicals or the, the great rashes they can get. And here's one of my favorite pro products. It's a rechargeable, biodegradable, non-toxic flea collar. And that's exciting. If you have a dog and you can get this and it's the first one made, you'd want it. And I hope that every pet owner out there buys this for their pet because it's about time we start thinking that our pets should be ecology aware and not have toxicities on them and chemicals on them if it works just as well. And not only are there ways to take care of your pets that are ecology aware, there's ways to take care of your whole garden with ecology, ecology aware. Natural lawn care. This is stuff that won't kill the environment while you're saving a tree. This is stuff that you can get rid of the bugs naturally. You can protect yourself from fleas naturally. This is the non-toxic, ecology-aware way of gardening. It's the, it's the organic gardening method. Whole, this, this company was started out of someone who believed that there's no products out there, so we'll develop them. And they developed a whole line of ecology-aware products. And ecology-aware products, you can see it's, it, it's from bugs and everything you can well imagine. And then in your home, let's say you have mothballs in your home and you want to get rid of the mothballs. Well, cedar is a natural, and here's a product that all you do is put it in your closet and you don't have to worry about those mothballs eating in. Totally wholesome, ecologically, 100% aware. Then again, more, here are some more bugs and pet center green, the into ecology aware stuff for pets and getting rid of animals. Okay. Now let's change to another subject. The next subject is ecology energy saving. What can we do? Why do we burn this watt that, why do we burn this light bulb that burns 100 watts of electricity while we can get as much light and only use 20 watts? It's insane to waste electricity. It's a natural resource. And there's a whole new enterprise of ecology aware lighting products. Here's one from Sylvania. It's 80% more efficient than other existing light bulbs. That's exciting to me. Here's another one. It's, I don't understand what's exactly inside of it, but I know that it's more efficient, and in life cycle coursing, it works more. Here's one, and here's another one. It's based on fluorescent. Just screw it in, and it's more energy efficient. Once you, and they give as much light as the other ones. And here's a third company that makes it. Life cycle coursing means this bulb might cost $20, but it will last five months. Whereas if you bought a normal bulb, it might cost $10 and only last two months. So within life cycle costing, using ecology wear light bulbs, energy efficient light bulbs is a must. I think they speak for themselves. And I will tell you every ecology aware light bulb company that's out there. Now, in saving energy, one of, the, one of the major energy saving and best selling devices in these uh, ecology catalogs are simple little things like this. You're taking a shower and you're using three times as much water as you need and you're paying three times as much in your water bill each month than you need besides the fact that water is a natural resource that must be saved. So these are energy saving. things that you put at the end of your faucet to wash your hands or to take a shower. And there's a whole bunch of them out there. They look kind of silly, but they work. And they're cheap and economical. Here's another one that's real exciting. And I'm sure every, you, all of you know it out there, but maybe you don't know where to get it. You know you have your toilet and the toilet wa waste water. Well, there's, there's a product that you can put in that saves water when you flush the toilet. You can put a, uh, a block in there and save water that way too. Okay, now the next person I'm thing I'm going to talk about is Buck Minster Fuller. Now, for you uh, people in your 30s out there, you probably know who Bucky is. And we'll, we'll start off with uh, showing at least a picture of Bucky so you get an idea. That's Bucky Fuller. He died about five years ago. 
Buckminster Fuller was a Renaissance man, a little ahead of his time. Uh, I met him once, and I'm sure of a whole bunch of you out there have met him. He's pretty much known for a few things. Ecology, what he, what, and he's like the godfather of the ecology movement. What he said was that we could take the existing natural resources that are re re reusable, non-polluting natural resources and use them at a higher efficiency. And if we decide to do this, Within 10 years, once we decide to do this, we can phase out all fossil polluting fuels and have an ecology-aware society. You can tell how evolved a society is by how much of its garbage it recycles, by how much of its energy it uses to its highest efficiency. And the, the most famous thing that Bucky, Buckminster Fuller is known for is the geodesic dome. The geodesic, this is a, a rough model of a geodesic dome home. And what a geodesic dome is, is you have a triangle, and a triangle locks and interlocks. In other words, not only it, it secures, and it, it goes both ways, it locks and interlocks, and it's the strongest substance, uh, strongest building structure known. A geodesic dome is the optimum way of covering space. It's the strongest structure of its type and an optimum way of covering space. And years ago, Everybody would go out and build their own geodesic dome uh, home out of wood and you'd live in it and it was a big environmental thing. But geodesic domes have advanced greatly since the early days of Bucky. There's, there's about 15 companies in the country right now that are making geodesic dome homes of all different types. And geodesic domes homes are modular, beautiful, ecology aware, economically aware, exciting to live in, and definitely the future of what home should be to the person who wants to live in an environment that is more like a womb, more economical and holistic. It's the most optimum way of covering spaces. space. As I said before, the air currents are very efficient. There's all sorts of brilliant, ecology-minded hybrids of what a geodesic dome should be. Every geodesic dome can be customized to your own holistic awareness. Now, being, being a full Bucky, uh, as we say, a Bucky freak or a Bucky head. There's the Buckminster Fuller Institute. And in the Buckminster Fuller Institute, this you can buy Bucky maps, Bucky books, models, t-shirts of geodesic domes. This is a Dymaxium world where the world is actually broken up into triangles. So you can look at the world flat for the first time and understand it as a whole. Anyone that is really into ecology and understanding ecology would be very excited about getting information on the geodesic dome tension. And for those who have never seen Bucky, we're selling a Bucky, or you can purchase a home videotape of Buckminster Fuller. And watching him speak is uh, an awakening experience, and Buckminster Fuller is surely the godfather of the whole ecology movement. At least he is to me and to many other people uh, evolved. And here's another product that might sound silly, but for those of us who are aware and understand that recycling our own garbage is a very high spiritual quest, here are composite toilets. And they go, oh God, I'm gonna make in a toilet and there's no water and it's gonna smell and what I'm gonna do. Well. It's not something that you should be afraid of. There is no smell. It works fine. And then when you're done, the composing lets you take the excess of it and use it as fertilizer in your garden. You take the food waste and you take the uh, human waste and it de decomposes. And let me explain how this is done because it's, ah, how can something like this be done? What happens is the human waste, and we all know cow manure is very good, and food and biodegradable food, uh, actual worms and enzymes 
decompose, they compose it into natural earth. It goes back down into its natural elements again. So you can go farm with it. It doesn't smell. There's a fan that takes the smell out. There's low flush toilets that go into decompose, that are natural ways of biodegradable, energy efficient toilets that decompose, that are compost toilets and they look like regular toilets. Now, there's also uh, energy saving recycling systems for water. And there's two ways, there's, there's a few ways. One way is you have your waste water, and let's say you're in an comp uh, apartment complex or somewhere, and you want to reuse the water. There's ways to recycle your water for gardening and systems to use that, to recycle your water the same way that you'd, you'd recycle your compost, your toilet. And of course, and everyone's aware of this more so than not, but it's important that they know about it, there's chlorines in waters, there's pollutants in water. It's important that you use a water purifier. This is a, something that you put on the nozzle in your kitchen and you get fresh, clean, wholesome water. The water actually goes through a filter and it takes out all the pollutants and chlorines. Biodegradable water is definitely something that, uh, well not biodegradable, Water purified is very important for ecology home, especially with uh, chlorines and the toxins, toxicities that are in the uh, air. Now, anyone that's interested in, well, change subjects here a little, in saving the rainforest, and we know that we're cutting down the rainforest and destroying our ozone, and it's a scary thought that's coming there. Here's a company that's actually trying to save the rainforest and has a whole selection of food little nuts that come from the rainforest that go back into saving the rainforest. So if you're interested in uh, saving the rainforest and giving this to friends, this is a great uh, product. And then, of course, people are very much aware of holistic foods and they want to get the holistic food. And some people might not want to go to the health food store and might want to just pick up the phone and order the latest holistic food, be it uh, vitamins, be it granola, be it fresh baked bread. Well, there's one company that has a mail order or direct product line of holistic foods that you can just, from fresh bread sent to your house anywhere in the country, to soups, to anything that you would want holistic. I'll tell you where to get a contact with them, too. The same way that we were purifying the water, there's other products that let you purify the air. And you want to purify the air because there's pollutants in the air like smoking cigarettes from carbon monoxide, from the general toxicities of the environment. So there's a few companies out here, and this is one company that makes an air purifier that you can put in your car. So let's assume you draw in your car and you want the air to be pure because it's, you're in a traffic jam. It's a smoggy day, whatever the situation is. Here's the world's first air purifier for your car. That's a great product. They have them for your office. Very important for your office because productivity goes up, consciousness goes up, the air is pure. If you have a baby, you want to have air purifiers in your room. You want to have a, a system that takes out the, in, the toxicities. Here's another company that makes a beautiful model for your desk or for your home. I have one of these in my house. And I, do you know, uh, it puts a negative ion in the air. And let me explain basically how this, this, this system works. You know when there's an electrical storm and it's a rainy day, right after the electrical storm there's like that sweet smell in the air? That means the air has been purified and the ionization is clean. That's, so this emits an ionization, and if you smelled the air coming out here, it would have a sweet smell just like right after an electrical storm. What happens is, like when you take a shower or when you're by the ocean, you feel the air is really energized and pure and you feel good about it. And the reason why you feel that way is because when water pellets break against each other, like in a shower or when the waves break or right after an electrical storm, it creates a negative ion which cleans the air and it's pure air to breathe. These are negative ion generators. Here's one for your home and one for an office. All evolved people, every home in the future will have an air purifier for good ecological reasons. I've been living for an air, with an air purifier for 10 years now. And believe me, uh, it's one of my favorite uh, little novelty items. And talking about little novelty items that you can't believe, 
here is a vacuum cleaner that's also an air purifier. So usually when you vacuum the rug, your rugs, it shoots out the dust or the air in the back, and that air, it sucks up your dust, but the air that's coming out of that is polluted air. This is the world's first vacuum cleaner that will clean the air and thoroughly vacuum your environment. That's exciting. Another product which saves energy, which is real important for people to understand, is thermostats that you can set back. What that means is you can set the thermostat out for automatically when you go to work, it will set itself back. Automatically, if you're leaving, leaving your house, it'll set itself back. It's an energy saving device that most homes, old homes might not have it, but most new homes hopefully will have it. These are energy saving thermostats. Here's another product which excites the hell out of me. And the reason why it excites me so much is because people are using normal refrigerators and there's the Sun Frost refrigerator, which is the same size as a normal refrigerator, which works the same as a normal refrigerator, but the Sun Frost refrigerator uses 80% less energy. It has the fan on the top of the refrigerator, because that's where the heat rises. It has thicker walls. It's a little more expensive than conventional refrigerators, but anyone that's ecology aware would insist on buying in it a sun forced refrigerator. The refrigerator uses the most electricity in your house all the time. So if you can use a refrigerator that's 80% more efficient than any other refrigerator, anyone that's ecology aware would insist on buying a sun forced refrigerator. And they're not freaky looking things. They're normal refrigerators, but they're energy efficient, the world's most advanced refrigerators to buy. Now in this modern age of computers, people have become more and more aware of the poison radiation that's emitted from computers. That there have been tests that women that have been working with computers have had more miscarriages than women that haven't from the radiation that's emitted. Now here is two alternatives for that. The first one is a radiation shield that you can purchase and put in front of your existing computer screen. It cuts out 70% of the harmful magnetic radiation that comes zapping at you through your computer screen from your eyes. This is essential for anyone that spends more than an hour or two a day on their computers. Now that's the screen, and here's the world's first company that makes the first screen that emits zero radiation. It's the only company in the world that does it, and if you're interested in finding out about them, here it is. It excites me. Now the next product I'm going to talk about is a product that I've waited around a long time to get to. Uh, it's called biofeedback. Biofeedback is a device that lets you tune into hearing your mind, hearing your blood pressure, hearing control of what you're doing. It's a biofeedback device. And now for the first time, this is the first biofeedback device that can be sold directly to homeowners. What that means is when you can control your wild, uh, you have, uh, you, you, you're tensed up, and because you're tensed up, you, you're inefficient in work productivity. They've done biofeedback seminars in workplaces where what a biofeedback is, is it lets you hear, or lets your mind control the temperatures uh, uh, of your body. You can, you can actually mind over matter control. It lets you get the feedback of your inner self to control. Uh, uh, let's assume you have addictive behaviors and you want to be able to control more of your addictive behaviors, get more in tune with yourself. Biofeedback is ecology aware for the self to get more in tune, let's assume, uh, addicted to cigarettes or drugs. A biofeedback can help there. Uh, you have tension. You have, you have headaches, you can't deal with things. And it's ideal because this biofeedback unit can be used in the home. It has a headband, and you can have your children work with it. Your husband or anyone that you're dealing with can come and in tune to their inner self through the home biofeedback unit. And of course, I suggest that you work with a psychologist, who, a local psychologist, who can bring you up to speed on how to use the, the home biofeedback unit to the best of your ability. 
We also will provide with the home biofeedback unit uh, audio tapes and instructional books so you can work with it better. It's real important for those of you who uh, can afford it and want to get more in tune to themselves to get the biofeedback unit. Well, as I said before, you can tell how high a society is by how much of its garbage it recycles. And even though this might seem like a silly section to go into, it's a very aware section. These are recycled bins that you put your garbage in. Maybe you haven't seen these yet, but the day will come that our children and our grandchildren wouldn't think, would think it prehistoric to non-separate your garbage, to non-recycle your glass, to non-recycle your paper, to non-recycle your plastic, Eco or, or, or to non-biodegrade composite all your uh, apple urns and uh, biodegradable foods. It's ecology awareness that we're talking about, and here are the companies for your home or for your office for ecology recycling. And that shouldn't be such a hard thing to sell everybody because you can get money for your recycled glass. You can get re money for your recycled uh, paper, plastics. Now here's one of my favorite inventions. It's called a ground source heat pump. What this is, and this is major, and every new building in the country will be using this in the future. It's using the earth, the earth as the solar collector. It's using the difference in the, difference in the temperature of the earth to let you air condition and heat your home. And the way this works is most of you are, are familiar with uh, an air source heat pump or a water source heat pump. This is called a ground coupled heat pump. What you do is in your home or your office, you bury the pipes along in your uh, in the earth and the difference in the temperature in the earth to your house lets you air condition and cool your home it's revolutionary and this is a closed system so if you take a solar voltaic system and put it on the roof that is a system you know that generates electricity solar voltaic cells you can power the motor that circulates this with the sun that means you can use the sun to power the electricity and this is a closed system, you can heat and air condition your home 100% using the ground source heat pump. Non-polluting, non-polluting. This is the first company that's making it right now. They're for homes and offices and it's exciting. It's very exciting. Now the, the next subject I'm gonna talk about is real close to my heart. It's electric vehicles. What is an electric vehicle? How does it work and where can I buy one? Well, let's start off with practical products that are electric that you can buy right now and where they are and what they are. The first one, which is two models, and this is one model, is electric motorcycle. This one's designed for one person. There's two other models that are strong enough for two people and you can go about 50 miles per charge. That's exciting. Non-polluting electric motorcycles. The next one is an electric car kit. This individual has been working on this for about 15, 20 years, and he's sold about 500 of them already. What they are is a VW gone electric. You can buy it right now in kit form for about 5,000. You can buy a complete car for 20,000 to 27,000. What they do is, they take an electric, they take a VW, and they put a plastic body on top of it, and they put bodies, they put a motor in it, and batteries in it, and the braking of the car actually generates electricity, and you can buy it today. We're taking orders on this project, car right now. For twenty for $20,000, you can buy a two or four seat electric, retrofit VW with a customized body on it, an electric body on it. It has either a Porsche body, a Ferrari body, or a custom electric body for it. That's exciting. It's the first approved electric vehicle that you can buy in the country right now. It's retrofitting VWs into uh, electric. Now here is a three-wheel called the Zipper electric vehicle. 
Now, this is uh, approved as an experimental vehicle that you can buy right now for local transportation. It's three wheels. They've been making it for about 10 years, and it's exciting. It, it looks weird as hell, but it works fine. It's a three-wheel electric vehicle. And here is the first electric van, the first electric van approved in the United States for immediate sales. A country in Canada has developed it. It runs on batteries. It's $60,000 but it's ideal for any company that wants to have an ecology-aware, non-polluting vehicle of this type. It's ideal for companies that have to do local deliveries. It's ideal for companies that have to work in airports and shuttle people around in airports. And any company, major company, uh, car rental company, should definitely purchase these electric vans. We're taking orders on them now. It's at least a one-year delivery to get it, but you can get it, and it's, it's exciting as heck. The first electric van. Well, let's see. We got some sun here, and if the sun hits it, this is a solar fan. And you see the sun's powering the solar fan. Stop. Power. Stop. Power. And isn't it nice how the sun just shined in at the right time to show this solar fan? Now let me explain how solar fans work. What happens is you have, this is, you have the photon energy of the sun reflecting into two putties on top of it. And when the two putties hit, the sun energy crosses over to the two and generates a little electrical spark. Solar power solar voltaic power is the future of different types. This is the solar solar fan type. Well, we see it works fine in the sun. Let me walk you through this world of solar energy. Now, this is my expertise, solar energy in particular. I've been involved since I was 16. I know a lot about solar energy, and I'll, I'll start explaining the basics of solar the first thing to know about solar energy is it's free and it's non-polluting. Non-polluting, free, solar energy. At the end, I'll sing a song about it. And here's the most simple, best solar collector, which is a closed system for solar domestic hot water heating. I'll explain how this works. The sun goes through glass. As the sun goes through glass, it's the greenhouse effect, like through a window. It gets trapped there. It heats up a black plastic, a special selective surface black plastic that eats up the sun more so the sun doesn't bounce up. This black copper, it has a clear glass cover, this black copper or black, usually copper or it could be steel, selective surface gets heated up by the sun and then water comes down pipes and gets heated up and that water can be used for heating your hot water, taking baths, or for domestic hot water heating. The thing that's interesting about this system is this is a closed loop system here. What that means is the system actually, that the system actually, if it's, if it's too cold outside, if there's gonna be a freeze, it doesn't matter, this doesn't freeze. It's a closed system that it heats up, heats up your water tank and goes through, through it again. Complete closed system, domestic hot water heating. Goes around. It's very efficient and ecology aware because once you pay for the system, it pays for itself under life cycle costing. Another system, to get an idea, this is another system. It's not a close, it's a, it's, how can I say, it's another, there's basic, that system is a closed system. This is a system that works through a heat exchanger. Now, solar domestic hot water heating, uh, or solar, solar heating in general for thermal purposes, that means the heating of hot water. From solar thermal, you can heat your swimming pool. Here are swimming pool panels. The thing that's interesting, here's a cross section of a swimming pool panel. Now, swimming pools don't need the glass covering. The water runs through here, the sun heats it up. What's more basic? than heating your swimming pool with a solar collector of this type. And there's lots of different types of solar collectors. And each of them have different efficiencies. 
of different types. Solar collectors that have tanks on the top and they use a thermal siphon system. Solar collectors that have uh, tanks in the house where they use antifreeze and they go th through it. Now when you have solar domestic hot water heating systems, one of the things that takes away from the efficiency of them is air. When you have cold air or air wind blowing off the glass, it takes away it. The way you get away from that, the most efficient solar system is an evacuated tube solar collector system. And there's two companies in the country now making evacuated tube collector system. What that is, it's a hollow tube with a copper pipe and black on the inside, and it's the most efficient way of heating hot water for the highest temperatures. And if you remember the old, uh, absorp the old absorption refrigerators, the gas refrigerators many years ago, from hot you can make cold. So they have solar arc air conditioning system that the hotter the sun is, these efficient tubes heat up hotter, they go through an absorption thing and make air conditioning. So it's called solar air conditioning systems. They're being used in Japan right now and we use them here too. Solar air conditioning using evacuated tube collectors because dead air makes the best insulation. Here's another company that makes an evacuated tube collector. See, there's their collector. It's different than the one I showed before. These are evacuated tubes. The water goes through here. It's the most efficient way because it's dead air insulation. And for solar air conditioning or for solar domestic hot water heating, it's the one to use. And of course, we did pool heating systems. People understand how the pool heating system works. See how it works in your house. Anyone that has a pool, there's about four or five major companies that manufacture pool heating systems. They all work equally as well. And if you're lucky enough to have a pool, I'm sure you want to extend your swimming season by solar heating it. Now, as I said before, here is our uh, solar fan. And this I've had for over 10 years, the solar fan. And there's companies making solar fans today. And it's an exciting product. And now we'll go into the solar voltaic world. The way that works is you have the solar, one's going this way, one's going this way. When the sun hits it, it goes like that, generates electricity. Here's a solar battery charger. You have your car, you want to never worry about your car battery going dead. Here's a battery charger for your car. You just plug it in the cigarette lighter, put this in your sunny window, and your battery in your car will always be primed, ready to go. Here is the number one solar novelty item. About three companies are making it now. It's the solar hat, complete with a fan. When you're working outside in your garden or construction work or anything, you put your hat on, the sun hits it, and it cools off your head. There's about three companies manufacturing this. It's exciting. You'll be able to go right to the manufacturer and get wholesale prices on it. Here's another very popular product that three companies are making. It's a solar-powered light for your house. Simple novelty product, but in case anyone's looking for your house on a dark night, you finally have a neon sign out there showing you where it is. Here's some more solar hats, solar toys, solar battery charger again, solar powered novelty items, little music boxes, windmills for your desk. Here's a little item, I even have a sample of it here. Is this small enough for you? Cheap enough? It's a, and there's the solar cell. It's a solar powered calculator. They have solar watches, they have solar uh, clocks. Solar voltaic uh, systems, lighting is a very big thing for them now. This is the latest here. Solar voltaic lighting, numbers for your house, lighting for your garden. Solar lighting again. Solar voltaic uh, 
farms for generating huge farms in the desert that generates electricity are going to be the future and the most efficient way of doing that up uh, I'll get into in a second here these are manufacturers of solar voltaic panels ideal for campers generating electricity I'll Every major solar voltaic company we have information on and we'll tell you about. We also have solar distillers for water in your house if you want fresh water. You can have, it actually distills the water and you get fresh water from the sun. You can also heat your hot water. Solar voltaic systems from major companies. Now, to understand solar systems, to make a solar system work better, they put a concentrating lens on top of the solar cell, top of a solar cell, and it increases the efficiency, and then the whole system tracks the sun. That's one system, and here's another one. They have a lens on top of it, and it tracks the sun. It adds to the efficiency because it focuses the sun and puts more efficiency into it. Now, there's another way of converting solar energy into electricity. It's called solar MHD, magnetohydrodynamics. What you have is you have a concentrating solar collector like this that focuses the sun on an optical point. At that optical point, and these are different dishes, it's focused right up there, and this, this is a product that's available. At the optical point here, the sun comes in through a diamond mirror. It's stainless steel and diamond. It heats up a cesium plasma. A cesium plasma get, it gets all excited and the ions and electrons jump around. And as the ions and electrons jump around, it goes through a super MHD field. That's magnetohydrodynamic field. What it is, it's a magnetic field. And when plasmas in a state of excitation goes through a magnetic field, it gives off electricity. And then it recycles around again. This is the most efficient way of turning solar energy into electricity. Faraday's law. Plasmas or waters or plasmas going through magnetic fields generate electricity is the concept. And what this means is the concentrating solar collector focuses the sun here, circulates the plasma around, generates electricity here. The actual electricity that you're generating can be put back into the superconductive magnets to store the electricity. You can store electricity in superconductivity, so it will be a self-sustained system. Right now, we're building the first prototype of this. Uh, my company holds the basic patent on it, Solar MHD. And I've been working on this for about 15 years, and this person named Fred Duncan, who died now, and Einstein got the basic patent. And it's Solar MHD, and what that means is where these solar cells can take about 30% of the incoming solar radiation and turn it into electricity. This could take over 50%. This is the better mousetrap. This is good for solid state around the world, and it's non-polluting solar energy. This is the most efficient way of converting solar energy into electricity. Now, let me wrap up here with two quick things. Uh, any investor that's interested in investing in uh, alternative energy sources here, there are companies that, that do turnkey solar voltaic manufacturing plants. So if you want to manufacture solar cells, and the latest thing in solar cell manufacturing is a solar cell that doesn't have black on the bottom of it, that's clear, that you can look right through. You can, in other words, the windows of the future will be solar voltaic windows that you look through it and you see, you know, it's normal glass, but on the sides of the window, if they're south facing and they get the sun, they'll be generating electricity. And the first company that's manufacturing that is in the marketplace now. As of now, solar farms, which are the most efficient way of turning solar energy to electricity as of now, this is a solar farm generate just like you have a power nuclear power plant these are solar power plants and you can get tax incentives for these solar power plants the solar MHD would be a power plant these are troughs that heat up steam and generate electricity right now there's enough solar voltaic plants out there to power a small city and in the future I predict half of all our energy will come from solar energy if not more of this type and these are the prototypes of the first solar power plants. And what they're doing is they're using Stirling engines. If you want to invest Stirling engines, which are available right now where the MHD is in its prototype stage, that are being focused in for generating electricity using a Stirling engine, which is another way of converting solar energy directly into 
electricity. Now, uh, storing electricity, there's fuel cells. It's a whole new way of storing electricity in a fuel cell. If you're interested in that, I'll give you information on that. Here's a company that takes hot and cold, and from the difference in hot and cold, generates electricity. It's thermal electric. In other words, the thermal, and they're the first company in the world that does that, and that's an exciting potential whole field. Here's a company that makes a thing called cloud gel. What that is, is you have a skylight in your house, and all of a sudden it gets too hot outside, this sky gel can be set at certain temperatures and it automatically will go opaque, will go dark. One minute it will be light, the next minute it will be dark. Because inside the clear plastic that, that, that you sheet it with, it senses the temperature differential and the, elect, the polarization in it goes like this and it goes, it goes from a clear to a dark color. See, here's a sample of that. They just have the heat of the candle, and you can see that it's getting dark. This company's looking for investors, too. There's a lot of opportunity out there for the right people to invest in different products, in different things. Here's for solar power grids, for generating solar farms, for generating electricity, a company that gives you a turnkey operation there. Another major thing that people should be aware of is recycling and then you can open up your own recycling plants for pollutions and taking things out there. Companies that will develop turnkey plants for recycling water. Here's one for recycling garbage, a turnkey plant for the right industrialist who wants to get involved in the green movement, and the ecology movement. They should know about this. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is wind generation. And everyone knows the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Well, there are wind farms out there generating electricity, and I wanted to pursue and here's uh, an actual letter from a New England electric company that's interested in building a wind farm. What you do is you have a wind farm, and the same wind farms and solar electric farms, the utility companies must, the utility companies must buy the electricity you generate. So what you do is you get a, com uh, a favorite long-term rate from the utility company, and you could finance the financing of solar farms or wind farms, and the utility must buy it back. And we have information on all the windmill companies that are out there. You can buy a windmill for your home. Now, to sum it up here, to deliberately affect environments, to beneficially produce an ideal world and self.